Hello, healthy people. This is Cooper and Penny. And as you know, we are two of three of the Dawson Darlings. And today we are going to be uh, showing you how we prepare our spaghetti squash. We're getting ready for the whiteout challenge. And so we decided to make up some spaghetti squash ahead of time. And then that way it'll be ready for the different recipes that we want to try. So we both have a squash. I'm going to prepare mine for the oven and... I'm going to prepare mine for the microwave. Okay, good deal. So we'll start off by cutting off the stem and the bottom to help make it flat. Okay, now we have separated our squash, squash. and then we're going to clean out the... Inside. Seeds. I wonder if we can plant these. You should be able to. We can try. Girl, let me find out. We can grow our own spaghetti squash. Let's save a couple. <laughs> Hold on. Of, let's save a couple of these seeds. We'll find out. Okay. So we got our spaghetti squash all cleaned out. So now I'm going to put mine in the microwave for 12 minutes with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use my olive oil and brush down my spaghetti squash and cook it on 325 for 40 minutes. No, 375. 375 for 40 minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, Mom. A little, <laughs> a little goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yes. I'm going to do a little olive oil. And I'll be right back. And a little, um, I'll put a little... Himalayan salt, a little pepper, kind of season it up a little bit. Spread the olive oil. And you can use regular salt. I'm just using the Himalayan salt because uh, we're doing a no white challenge, so we're not using white salt. I have the Himalayan pink salt grinder. So we'll just gr grind that up. Uh oh. Like and put it here um get one of those uh flat so you can put it face down or cut side down okay oh uh, okay we're back with the microwave version it's still a little hot but um if i can pick it up so you can see oh there you go for the camera so they can see it okay and now what we're gonna do is to scrape out the insides this so actually looks like squash noodles and we're gonna put them in a plastic container to make it easier for meal planning later on okay let's get to let me see if you can so you can see the consistency looks just like squash now we did find out that you can plant the seeds, but um, it's recommended that you plant in September. So we're going to be planting spaghetti squash in September. And then hopefully sometime soon, you'll get to see some uh, squash from our garden. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll come back with the baked version. Okay guys, we're back with the uh, baked portion um we had some very important reminders uh first of all we uh forgot to turn on the timer so our squash cooked a little longer but it still looks very good and we're going to see if i can get this up it's very hot as penny has discovered and so now she's getting a little treatment for burns but it did get a little oh scorch i'm about to do the same thing it got a little scorched, but it looks actually looks very good. And uh, we're gonna add that to the container as well so that we have lots of squash ready for our pre, for our preparation for, um, for our meals. So Tiffany's stepping in now and she's going to get the rest of the uh, squash out of the shell. 
nice and easy so some of you are probably wondering so what's the what's the benefit or what's the value of one way over the other i would say for the microwave it's a lot quicker when you agree a lot quicker for the oven preparation the thing that i liked about it is that you were able to um season it ahead of time i use uh, garlic powder oh no i didn't i use garlic pepper and a little uh himalayan salt so that added a little seasoning so that's it uh, we've got our squash ready and now we can do uh squash a uh, spaghetti squash uh for just a spaghetti dinner or if we want to make uh baked lasagna or um just anything that you would use pasta for you can use the spaghetti squash all right guys that's all for this time uh tomorrow is memorial day and we're going to be grilling the Beyond Meat Burgers on the grill. So we'll give you our family's reaction to that on tomorrow. Okay, until then. Bye. Bye-bye. Smooches.